Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from todaysiphone.com and I'm taking a first look at iOS 7 on the iPad. Apple just released iOS 7 Beta 2 to developers and uh, it's the first time Apple has included iPad support for iOS 7. So that includes the iPad 2 and every model following the iPad 2 as well as the iPad mini. Now, as you can see from the lock screen, uh, everything is very similar if you are familiar with iOS 7 on the iPhone. So from the lock screen, we can swipe down and we have Notification Center. If we go back and we swipe up, we have Control Center. Now, they've been tailored a little bit to the iPad. For example, uh, they are now full screen. Uh, notification Center and Control Center are both full screen. If you remember in iOS 6 on the iPad, Notification Center just took up like the little bit in the center of the screen and it seemed much more like a feature that didn't really belong on the iPad than it does now. And if we go into Control Center, you'll see that both the calculator and the flashlight uh, shortcuts are missing. That's because I, the iPad doesn't have an LED flash, so there's no flashlight, and uh, it doesn't have a calculator application built in. But everything else is exactly the same. So if we slide to unlock, we get the fly-in feature. Now one thing I want to show you really quick is that a lot of people, myself included, have a smart cover or a smart case on their iPad. Uh, which sort of subverts the lock screen. Um, but if I close the cover and then I open it, we get we still get that fly-in feature, which is a really nice UI touch. So this is the iOS 7 home screen on the iPad. As you can see, we have, if I tilt it, I'm not sure if you guys can tell in the video, but we have the parallax effect with the wallpaper. Um, we have folders with uh, multiple pages. Now a feature that's unique to the iPad and has been for a couple years is multitasking gestures. Uh, so these still work. If I wanted to go into Safari and I wanted to back out of Safari, I could use five fingers and pinch in. If I was in Safari and I wanted to swipe over to a different application, four fingers swipes and you can switch between your open applications. And if I wanted to see all of my open applications, I do four fingers up and it opens the multitasking. Now you notice that settings here is still in the portrait orientation because that's how it was opened originally. Uh, but if I go into settings, it switches to landscape. Um, now that's just one of a couple of bugs I've noticed. It seems to me that iOS 7 on the iPad is a little bit more buggy than um, iOS 7 on the iPhone first was when it launched. Uh, you can see here in the corner, the battery indicator and the clock are still on the side of the screen, remnants from the status bar when the iPad was in portrait mode. Um, if I turn off my lock and I switch my iPad up, so now the iPad is in portrait mode and you'll see that uh, the status bar is very, very hard to see. Uh, for some reason, the I don't know if this is just my iPad or if it's a glitch with iOS 7, but all of the indicators up here, the clock, the Wi-Fi bars, the battery indicator, they're all black on the lock screen when they should be white. Um, hopefully Apple works that out very soon because it's frustrating. As you can see, when I turn it back to landscape mode, um, they do turn to white. So that's at least something. Siri now also takes up the full screen on the iPad. So if we go into Siri. What time is it in London? So we have that blurred effect with the icons in the background. Uh, that voice to me sounds just like the old Siri voice, so Apple seemingly has not ported the new Siri voices to the iPad yet. Uh, there have been reports that some people got it on their iPhones in beta too, uh, some didn't. So chalk that up to another nuance with the beta software, hopefully Apple has that all ironed out pretty soon as well. The rest of the stuff you'll recognize from the iOS 7 on iPhone. So we have the new interface with the camera. Here, I'll flip it around. We have the new interface with the camera. You can swipe between square, photo, and video. There is no panorama on this. It actually doesn't seem like Apple has put the photo effects in the camera application. Um, if we, let's just check it out. We can go into photos, and we have the camera roll. Um, now here are the moments, collections, years. So all this is very familiar. If we go into, let's, let's pick a picture. So that's, this is a very strange picture of me. Um, and if we click on edit, now we have the filters. So 
I guess you can't take them while you're taking the picture on the iPad, or maybe you can and it's just a bug on my iPad, but um, there you have that. I'm sorry that you had to see that picture. So once again, this is iOS 7 on the iPad. At first looks, it's very similar to the software on the iPhone, but here at today's iPhone, we'll keep playing around, keep digging, and try to find some differences uh, in the softwares and just some more new features in the second beta of iOS 7. Uh, we have a list of the new iOS 7 beta 2 features up on today's iPhone now. There's a link to that in the description down below. And uh, thank you very much for watching. If there's anything about iOS 7 on the iPad that you want me to investigate further or explore more, please let me know in the comment section down below or on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. And I'll see you next time.